I rise to honor the families of Uvalde, Texas. One year ago this week, 21 souls walked through the doors of their classrooms for the very last time. They were teachers, artists, and athletes, aspiring police officers, and honor roll students. Hours later, they were dead, gunned down by a teenage shooter with weapons designed for the battlefield. At the morgue, their bodies were so ravaged they had to be identified through DNA testing. I have three children, nine, seven, and one. When I drop my older children at school, I think of the families in Uvalde who never had a chance to say goodbye to theirs. Over the last year, those same families have held back tears in our committee rooms as they begged Congress to end America's gun violence epidemic. We know how to stop school shootings. We know that assault weapons bans, universal background checks, and a higher age for gun purchases will save American lives. The teachers and children time who died expired. cannot change the law. But we can honor their memories by having the courage to act. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Tomorrow, May 24th, marks one year since the massacre at Robb Elementary in Uvalde. One year since 19 children and two teachers were murdered, leaving a community forever scarred and parents all across the country holding their little ones closer. I know my heartbreak won't pass new legislation, but like many parents, I am heartbroken. I know my outrage won't bring these kids back, but like many Texans, I am still outraged. And I also know that we don't have to live like this. Last year, we finally ended 30 years of inaction by passing gun violence prevention legislation, and we can build on that. We can strengthen background checks, pass red flag laws, raise the purchasing age of an assault-style rifle to 21. All of these policies are overwhelmingly supported by the American people, but we have to work together. So I urge my colleagues on the other side of the aisle to join us in looking for common ground, because I know I am willing to work with anyone to save lives. The people of Uvalde and all Americans deserve Gentleman's no less. Time has expired. I yield back.